I will show you 7 quick CapCut hacks that will make your edits look professional. I've got Shine, 3D Spin, Beat Match Cut, Gradient Text Effect, Sleep Floating Text, Working with Grids and Countdown Timer. Let's hack your workflow and make your video slap. Ready? Let's go! Alright, I've got this Rolls Royce PNG logo here. I'm gonna drag it down to the timeline and make it a bit smaller. Let's duplicate it, because we are going to lighten this one. Head up to Adjust, Curves and drag the left handle almost all the way to the top. Just like this. Now go back to Video and create a compound clip out of this layer. Next, go to Mask, Add Mask, Film Strip. Make it nice and small and set the feather to around 30. Rotate it, drag it over to the left and hit the keyframe icon in the mask settings. Move your playhead forward around 60 frames. Then drag the mask over to the right side and the keyframes will be added automatically. To make it smoother, right click the second keyframe, go to show all presets and choose cubic ease. If the shine moves too fast, just drag the second keyframe a little further out. And there you go, a clean smooth shine effect that looks super professional. What you can also do to make this shine pop even more is to add some sound effects. Go up to audio, sound effects and search for sword. Pick this one, sword waving. Drop it onto our timeline and line it up exactly where the shine passes over the logo. In this case the shine is little too slow so I'll just drag the second keyframe a bit closer. Now the sound effect hits perfectly with the light sweep. Alright, for the second hack we are creating a 3D logo effect and we'll continue with the same logo. First highlight both clips and make a compound clip. Go to the beginning of the clip, head up to Animation, Combo and find Flip 4. You can make the logo a bit bigger by going to Video, Scale and adjusting it to your liking. Now because I want this 3D motion to be a little slower, I'll make another compound clip, go to Speed and break it down to 0.7x. Then click on Smooth Slow Motion and set Optical Flow for better quality. You can mute the sound effect for now. And there you go, a clean smooth 3D rotation. Here's a bonus tip, if you just need a still image of a 3D logo, pause at the frame where you like, click on 3 dots, export still frame and it will save it straight to your computer. Ok, the third hack is a beat match cut and for this you'll need a few clips of a person centered in the frame but shot at different locations. To make this really stand out we will need the right background music and I found the perfect tool for that. This is one of the most powerful AI audio tools for royalty free music and sound effects. Before I was spending hours searching for the right track or sound effect but now I can generate unique background music that perfectly matches the vibe of the video. Let me quickly show you what's possible inside Music GPT. Down here we've got the prompt box and right below we have an attachment icon where you can upload a reference sound or music clip. Next to it are the instrumental and lyrics tab. You can write your own lyrics or even generate completely new ones with your own prompts. Below that you'll find different AI tools. I mostly use the first one but you also have options like sound generator, text to speech, Remix, Replace and Expand. Now let's create a background track for our beat match cut video. So I'll write create energetic fast paced music for video edits at 120 beats per minute. You can also try different prompts to get the best results. Then just click the arrow to generate and wait a few moments for the process to finish. Here we've got two versions. Let's take a listen.
yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going up tonight. When you are happy with one, click on three dots, hover over download, and you can choose to download the full song, just vocals or just the instrumental which I need for this edit. Let me show you one more example. This time we'll create a full custom made sound effect. I'll navigate over to sound generator and then type in my prompt. For example, let's type in create a sound effect of a sea waves hitting the shore. I'll set the duration to 5 seconds. You can also choose how many variants you want and then click generate. Let's hear it. All I can say just awesome. Ok, back in CapCut, I've already imported my clips and dropped them into the timeline. Here I've got the background music that I just created with Music GPT, so let's drag it in and trim off the first silent part. Now hover over to this little beat icon and click on Beats 2. CapCut will automatically mark all the beat points at the timeline. From here it's super easy. Just cut your clips right on those beat markers. Do that for all your clips and by the end you'll have a perfectly synced beat match cut. But let's take it a step further and make it look even cooler. Highlight all the clips and create a compound clip. Go up to stickers, search for iPhone mockup and drag it above your compound clip. Extend it to match the length, make it a bit smaller and then highlight your compound clip again. Go to mask, add mask, rectangle and adjust it so it fits perfectly inside the phone screen. Finally, highlight both layers, make one last compound clip and you've got this super clean mock-up video where your beat cuts place inside an iPhone screen. It's a small touch, but it instantly makes your edit looks more professional and engaging. The fourth hack is a gradient text effect, and it looks super clean for the titles and intros. First, go to text, add text, type in whatever you want, and change the font if you like. Make it bigger, extend it, and then duplicate it. Highlight the bottom text and change its color. I'll grab the color picker and select that violet tone from our background. You can check how it looks by temporarily turning off the top layer. Now highlight the top text, go to animation, in tap, and search for random rays. Set the duration to about 2 seconds. Do the same for the bottom text. Next, make a compound clip from each text layer separately. With the top one selected, go to Video, Mask, Add Mask and choose Split. Drag the split line slightly upward and set the feather to around 30. That gives you a nice smooth gradient blend. Finally, highlight both clips, create another compound clip and go up to Effects, Video Effects, Glow 2. Drop that inside the clip, set the size to 25 and Glow to 20. And just like that, you've got a glowing gradient text effect that looks professional and eye-catching. The next hack is floating effect, perfect for clean video intros or logo reveals. First, write your text and customize it however you like. Then click on keyframe for both transform and opacity. Move your playhead about 25 frames forward and click keyframe on transform and opacity again. Now go back to the first keyframe, 
set the opacity all the way down and drag the text off the screen. Right click on the second keyframe, go to show all presets and choose cubic ease. This makes the motion smooth and natural. Next, move your playhead forward to where you want the text to exit. Add another set of keyframes for transform and opacity. Then move about 25 frames forward. Drag the text out of the screen again and turn the opacity down to zero. Right click on that second keyframe, go to show all presets and pick cubic out for smooth ending motion. Now create a compound clip, go up to effects, video effects and drag down play pendulum onto your compound clip. Set strength to around 12 and bring twist and sharp all the way down. For a final touch you can add black flash too for blinking effect. And that's it, your text now smoothly floats in and out of the frame. You can do the exact same thing with objects or logos and it works perfectly for intros, outros or clean transition. This next hack, working with grids is really underrated but it can help you a lot when working with motion or rotation. I've got this car wheel PNG here. Let's extend it a bit and click keyframe on transform at the beginning. Move your playhead forward and as you may see this wheel is not centered in that PNG. And if we want to rotate it, it does not spin in the center like we want to. It rotates all over the place instead of staying in the middle. So let's delete those keyframes and fix it properly. To do that we'll use grids. Go up to menu and under grids and rulers choose horizontal guide and vertical guide. Now we've got a perfect center reference. Let's zoom in, drag the center of the wheel to the intersection point and then zoom back out. Once that's aligned create a compound clip. This step is really important. Click keyframe on transform. Move your playhead forward and rotate the wheel about 6 full turns. And there we go, the wheel now spins perfectly in the center. But of course we can make it even smoother. Just right click on that second keyframe, go to show all presets and choose cubic ease. Now the wheel spins naturally just like in the real car animation. You can use this countdown timer hack for so many things. Intros, transitions or any kind of suspense build up and it's really easy to create. First go to text and type a capital letter O. Use a thin font where the O looks like a perfect circle. I'm using red hat font. Make it bigger and extend it to 10 seconds on the timeline. Change the color to gray. Then duplicate it. On the second one, change the color to something bright. I'll go with neon green. Now head over to animation, out tab and choose the clop swipe animation. Set the duration to 10 seconds. The problem is that the clock swipe goes the wrong direction, so we'll fix that. Just make a compound clip and click the reverse icon to flip the direction. Next, go up to effects, search for glow 2 and drag it onto a clip to get the nice glowing ring. Set both size and glow to 25. Now we need the actual countdown numbers. For that just go to chat GPT and type generate a downloadable 10 seconds countdown SRT file. Download it to your computer and then go back to CapCut. I found out that if you try to import it directly it sometimes doesn't work. But if you try to drag it in from the finder it works perfectly. Place the countdown numbers in the center and make them bigger and switch the font to something more digital. I like using digit font. 
For the last touch, let's add a TikTok sound effect. Place it at every number change. And that's it, you've got a clean, modern countdown timer ready to use in any project. That's it, 7 CapCut hacks to level up your edits. If you find this helpful, like, subscribe and comment which hack you'll try first. See you in the next one.